Hi, this is Dr. Inky Parikh. Welcome back to Whiteboard Wednesdays. Today, we're going to talk about vascular screening. The three simple things that we check in vascular surgery that spot checks is the carotid arteries. And that is, uh, it's going to be a gradient or a number. It's either going to say you have zero disease, which means, hey, you're doing well and just keep up the good work. Or it's going to be you have some thickening, which means you are not at risk of stroke right now. However, thickening of the carotid arteries have been associated with cardiovascular disease down the line, meaning you are at a higher risk of having a heart attack down the line. So we do need to keep an eye on you. If there is some real number attached to it and not just the thickening, that means you have to sit down with the vascular surgeon and they are going to follow you over time. So then you're now from a screening stage and then now you're going to be plugged into a follow-up pool. So in terms of the aneurysm in the abdominal arteries, it's actually very different. So if you have family history of aneurysmal disease, we suggest that you get checked in your mid to late 40s. If at that time not significant disease is found, then I tell people to get it checked again in the mid to late 50s. And if there's no disease found at that age, no aneurysms, nothing like that, then you don't have to worry about it ever again. And then you're done with that part of the screening. However, if you happen to find an aneurysmal degeneration, then you're automatically off of the screening and then you're then and plugged into the follow-up. And as you saw in some of the aneurysm lecture series, you know, we start to talk about really sitting down and fixing it at size 5.0 centimeters for women and 5.5 for men. Although if the shape is irregular or saccular, then we talk about fixing it at a much earlier stage. Let's talk about the legs. So the legs are interesting because legs are one part of the vascular surgery where you don't really need to get things pre-fixed and prevented. However, sort of in the middle ground is are those that have vascular surgical uh, issues such as plaque disease, and they have zero symptoms, but it is significant enough that we need to worry about medically doing something about it. You know, I generally say to my patients that reversing atherosclerotic or plaque disease is almost impossible, but I've definitely seen it and I've been very inspired by some of my patients who have taken this to a new level um, and have come up with extremely strict uh, diet patterns. And a lot of them have been associated with some sort of vegan diet. They do the vegan diet with uh, homemade foods instead of just taking something that's pre-made and then just heating it up and cutting out a lot of salt. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.